Invo UPT. You should know the Canadian Invo e-mobility company after watching our video where the EATV was featured. In case you missed it, here's a small recap. This four-wheel scooter is equipped with a height-adjustable seat, but this fact should not be keeping you from riding it in a standing position. Sitting quite high above the ground and offering 200 millimeters of ground clearance, this model features a double wishbone suspension design and is brought into motion by means of a dual-motor powertrain with 3 kilowatts of combined output. With one 1500-watt motor hidden inside each rear wheel, Envo EATV can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour while carrying up to 440 pounds of cargo. Moreover, this off-road scooter has the maximum towing capacity of 770 pounds. The powertrain duo draws the energy from a 60-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack and supports a regenerative braking feature that can turn excess kinetic energy into a battery charge. However, it looks like the EATV is not the only four-wheeled vehicle that the company is planning on making, since they've recently unveiled an ambitious project called the Invo UPT. It's a four-wheeled EV platform that could be adapted to a specific application with the help of certain modules. A micro car for urban commuting, an emergency response vehicle, a commercial utility transport, or a recreational go-kart. One UPT platform could serve any of these roles when properly equipped. The performance comes from wheel-mounted electric motors offering a max power output of 12 kilowatts, a top speed of 32 miles per hour with up to 550 pounds of payload, and towing capacity rated at 770 pounds. The modular in-frame battery offers 5.3 kilowatt hours of capacity and can last between 60 and 120 miles. Volcan Stag Two years ago, the world first learned about Volcan Stag. It's an all-electric UTV developed by a Texas-based electric power sports manufacturer that is now accepting pre-orders for this machine. The Stag Utility Task vehicle weighs 3,000 pounds and is equipped with a 103-kilowatt motor, capable of generating 265 pound-feet of torque and pushing you up to a top speed of 80 miles per hour. The vehicle is equipped with a drive mode selector and an on-demand four-wheel drive system to let you adapt the output to your needs and conserve the range when needed. Speaking of range, a fully charged 42 kilowatt hour battery should provide up to 100 miles of riding in the most sparing eco mode. As a true alternative to traditional side-by-sides, the Stag received a good deal of off-road grade components, namely BF Goodwrench mud terrain tires, front and rear factory bumpers, four-person seating, 26 cubic feet of cargo space, a 2,000-pound towing rating, and 1,200 pounds of towing capacity. LIVAC EQUAD Today, all electric powertrains have little to no representation in the modern ATVs and UTV market. So people behind the Detroit-based LIVAC company have noticed this market disparity and started developing their battery-powered EQUAD. The ATV is based on a sturdy tubular frame and its recycled carbon fiber body panels that can withstand harsh road conditions and protect vital electronic components. Moreover, considering the model's off-road nature, great attention has been paid to the protection of the batteries. The 16 kilowatt hour battery is hidden inside a waterproof stainless steel case and supports wireless charging. A battery powers up a dual motor setup with a peak output of 16 kilowatts and 67 mile per hour top speed capabilities. The manufacturer estimates that every charge could bring up to 170 miles of range autonomy. We would also like to highlight such features as hydraulic brakes, a four-link rear suspension, an independent front suspension, a GPS tracker, and a control app for your smartphone.
Aerial Motor Company E-Nomad. This year, Aerial Motor Company, a British manufacturer of performance vehicles, has finally issued a long-awaited update to their Nomad Dune Buggy. However, it seems that the updates will keep on coming, as the brand announced its intentions to start venturing into the field of electric vehicles too. The company's most recent press release shows a prototype of an electric off-roader called the E-Nomad. Underneath the body with biocomposite body panels, this four-wheeler hides a 450-volt powertrain consisting of a 210-kilowatt electric motor and a 41-kilowatt-hour battery pack. Considering that the E-Nomad weighs just 1,975 pounds, its 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 3.4 seconds shouldn't come as a surprise to all EV fans out there. On one battery charge, this rugged EV should cover up to 150 miles, while the support of DC fast charging lets you charge the battery from 20 to 80% in a mere 25 minutes. Polaris Ranger XP Kinetic Developed in partnership with Zero Motorcycles, an American company known for the most advanced e-motorbike powertrains, the new Ranger XP Kinetic by Polaris is coming to electrify and revolutionize the side-by-side -side industry. The model's innovative powertrain comprises an IPM AC motor with a regenerative braking feature and 14.9 kilowatt-hour battery for the premium trim and a 29.8 kilowatt hour battery for the ultimate trim. The powertrain yields 140 pound feet of torque, 1500 pounds of payload capacity, and 2500 pound hitch towing rating. Depending on the chosen trim, you may count on either 40 or 80 miles of riding. While the charging options are represented by a standard home power outlet or an L2 charger through a J1772 socket. Ranger XP Kinetic weighs 1,754 pounds and has an 81-inch wheelbase, four-wheel hydraulic disc brakes, Pro Armor X-Terrain tires, and is raised 14 inches above the ground by a dual A-arm suspension with 10 inches of travel. Teverun Tetra For the upcoming 2025 model year, the Teverun Electric Scooter Company is upping the ante and presenting a four-wheel drive scooter for extreme adventures on the nearest dirt trail. The Tetra 4x4 scooter may be optioned with either a two-wheel or a four-wheel drive system with 1,500 watts generated by every motor unit. The available traction control system can function in an automatic mode and turn on the 4x4 drive when climbing hills. Regardless of the motor setup, you're getting 13-inch off-road tires, a 60-volt, 60-amp-hour battery pack, 34-mile-per-hour top speed capabilities, four hydraulic disc brakes, and a 4-inch TFT control display. Both versions have four switchable performance modes and can cover up to 120 miles in the least demanding mode. The main difference between the models is the weight. The four-wheel version tips the scales at 182 pounds, which is 15 pounds more compared to the two-wheel drive version. Avenir Spiritus Ligera. Wait, what? This can't be for real. These were my first thoughts when I read the news about the upcoming EV model by Avenir Electric Vehicles. I have a feeling that I may not be the only one. Although the initial presentation showcased by the Spiritus Ligera in the form of a digital render, the company's engineers have been working tirelessly on turning fantasy into reality and posted their progress on their official social media pages. So what's the Spiritus Ligera? Well, it's a three-wheeled roadster suitable for breezy rides on the highways, as well as for tracking dirt trails. This dual-purpose functionality was achieved with adaptable suspension and switchable off-road tires. The front suspension is represented by a double wishbone design with an adjustable push rod, while in the rear, the engineers decided to use a trailing arm suspension layout. In terms of performance, the Roadster is offered in three trim levels. The base sport trim comes with a rear wheel drive, a single 4 kilowatt electric motor, and a 4.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. With this capacity, the 518 pound EV will reportedly go for up to 65 miles between charges. 
As for the range-topping Ultimate trim, it offers an all-wheel drive system with a three-motor powertrain capable of producing 10 kilowatts of output and 368 pound-feet of torque. The powertrain was also matched with a 10 kilowatt-hour battery pack, good for 127 miles. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new product reviews in the comments section below. Thanks once again and till next time.